Shalom, shalom, salak, I'm back again. Yeah, like I was saying, he said, I know, uh, I forget the scripture, but it says, I know who are mine, so to speak, the whom thou has given me. I can't think of it right now, but it is what it is right now. But uh, it says, uh, but Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all, man. So that's the motherland. That's what we wasn't going to see no more again. All right. Now back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Okay. It says, and there ye should be sold as bond man and bond woman. All right. <clears throat> Which is what? So like there you should be sold to your enemies. So whoever we were sold to was going to be our fucking enemy. So you know what? Read Psalms the 83rd chapter, man. That's going to tell you who our enemies is. Read Joel the 3rd chapter. Whoever we were sold to, that's our enemies. More importantly, it was the white man those true Africans, all right, and them fucking uh, Arabs, man, them Arabs, okay? So they got to pay for it. And more importantly, the so-called white man has to pay for it. Esau, Edom, all right? At the Wamiya, all right? That, that's their true biblical name, man. The so-called white man, all right? Our fucking enemy, our natural born enemy, man, all right? Um... <clears throat> There you should be sold to your enemies as bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you, which means no man shall save you or rescue you, all right, or redeem you, all right? We're still into captivity, all right? Because you guys uh, think that emancipation or proclamation or however the fuck you said, that just means the transferring of slaves. They took the physical chains off of us, all right? And they still watch us like watchdogs. Hey, that's why you got the police, all right? All right? <clears throat> but, um... They took the physical chains off and put mental chains on us, all right? They done beat our heritage out of us, which the Lord said he's going to take from us anyway, all right? Shit, that was the great falling away, all right? Which the scriptures talk about. The great falling away is we moving into fucking uh, slavery, man. We completely forgot who we were on this side, man. But now we're waking up, man. But only the elect is going to wake up. So to the rest of you Israelites, they ain't going to wake up to hell with you, man, all right? Um, yeah, no man should buy you, all right? Um, I think I got one more. Just knock it. Yeah, this is Joel 3, I'm just reading, 3, uh, verse 3 through 8. And, that, and they shall cast lots for my people, slave blocks. They should give a boy for a harlot, which means they was buying our young men and having sex with them, man. That's the only slave, uh, Plantations, they had sex farms, man. Go watch Goodbye Uncle uh, Tom's Cabin, man. All right? And they sold girl for wine. Which they just sold the regular little girls for drink, man. All right? And they was having sex with the little boys. You know that's the white man by fucking nature, man. That they might drink. And yea, what have I to, to do with thee, O Tyree and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? Now, even though back then, Tyree and Zidon were them African nations, all right? But on this side, it says all the coast of pa Palestine is over the Arabs over the, so, in uh, some of the com uh, countries now, man. All right? But even on a spiritual level, the Africans still put us to slavery too. All right? Matter of fact, Ham was one of the first nation of people to have us in slavery. All right? We was in Egypt. <laughs> all right? Because <clears throat> they all the I mean, fucking Egyptians go back to Ham anyway. All right? And all ye close to Palestine, you fucking Arabs, all right? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye re recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I uh, return your recompense upon your own head? So the Lord's going to pay your ass back, man. Because you can't pay the Lord back for what you did to his people. You touched the apple of his eye, man. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, have carried into your temples my good, godly, my goodly pleasant things, all right? They sacked our temple. That's why you got the Archetitis, man. All right? Look up your history, man. Okay? The, uh, so like the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold to the Grecians. All right? But you know, the, uh, those, the Jeff, uh, Greek was really, uh, originally Greece, that uh, landmass was the Japhetic people. But they got, they got pushed out by the Macedonians. All right, Philip, then his son, Alexander the fucking creep, 
which, hey, Alexander the Greek, that's what they called them, all right? They took on them customs, man, all right? So we were sold to them, but those were the, hey, that's Esau and Edom, these crackers, all right? That's exactly who it is, man. So you guys got to be uh, spiritual when you break this thing down, too. Th these niggas in church ain't going to teach you this, man. Every one of you, you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's deep in that Christianity, uh, Christianity thing, being Baptist and all that, you never heard this in church, man. You guys haven't put one and one together yet, man. Um, <clears throat> that they may be removed far from their border. Hey, you got removed far from Israel. Behold, I will raise them out of, their uh, out of the place where you have sold them. And will return your recompense on, upon your own head. So the Lord said, hey, he's going to raise us out. Uh, raise us up out of all the places that he has basically scattered us. Hence, that's why you have the group where it says we should remember the uh, Yahweh uh, in, our, in the land of our captivity. All right? So the Lord is building this up right now. He ultimately is going to beam up his elect. He's going to save them. All right? And I will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. And, and they shall sell them to the uh, Sabians. All right? To a people far off. For Yahweh have spoken. So guess what's going to happen, man? The Lord said he's going to put whatever people put us in slavery, he's going to put their sons and daughters in slavery. So hence, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have slaves. It's as simple as that, man. You reap what you sow, man. The Lord is a balanced power, man. All right? They ain't going to read you this scripture in church either, man. All right? And it says, for Yahweh has spoken, and the Lord never breaks his word. All right? Now, I'm going to go from that, which, hey, I got to go to the classic scripture. Revelations, the 13th chapter. All right? Since these guys don't like to touch the book of Revelation anyway. All right? This is uh, Revelations 13. I'm going to start with 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Well, I'm going to start with 9. If a man have an ear, let him hear. You got ears, you can hear. But on a spiritual level, him that have understanding, let him hear, man. All right? Because a wise man will listen. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So who led us into captivity? So whoever that was is going into captivity. Another word for captivity is slavery. Whoever led us into slavery, the Lord is going to put into slavery. All right? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Who, who has the blessing of the sword? Esau, Edom. And that's how he's slaughtering us now. What's the modern day sword? A gun. All right? Another form of a sword. These drugs. All right? The, this dumbass school system, man. They use everything against you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as a weapon, man. All right? Um, hey, so, hey, prepare for these race riots. I'm going to finish it off with one, one more scripture after this. Um, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the truth of uh, saints are waiting for this to happen, man. You got these... Negroes that go to church and say, I'm a saint. I'm a, no, you're not. Just if you're a saint, you'll be wishing for slavery and death for these other nations, man. And I'm going to go with that and I'm going to finish it off with Genesis, the 49th chapter. Because this is the reason why all these slaves, like, I got to start watching this new series called The Underground, you know? So I'm, you know, I'm trying to give that a shot and see what's going on. Um, <clears throat> But they had the, and they got the Nat Turner movie coming out in October. Y'all watching that show right? Does that we ain't here in October? But if it does come out, they're showing off and then shit. Apparently, people, uh, the new presidents are going to be getting selected sometime during that fucking period. So hey, if it's Donald Trump, they playing that damn Nat Turner movie around the same time. So, hey, them race riots are going to grow up, man. Hopefully they grew up over the summer, man. But they ain't making these damn movies for no reason. The Lord is putting the spirit on these devils to make these movies so you guys can get riled up, which in turn, you guys should have been riled up. But hey, it's all according to your Howard Bosch and your shot. All right? This is a, uh, Genesis 29, uh, I mean, 49th chapter. 
I'm starting with verse 8. Judah, thou art whom thy brethren should praise. Thy hand should be in the net of thy enemies. All right? So that's graphic, man. We're going to fucking strangle and choke the shit out of these other nations, man. His, the hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. All right? Because Judah's the top tribe. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey. My son, thou have gone up. He stooped down. Because you, you Israelites are fucking sleep, man. All right? You Negroes are sleep. But more importantly, the, hey, the southern kingdom, Judah, they, these Negroes are gone out their mind. They have no idea who they are, man. You guys are asleep, all right? It says, um, <clears throat> he is crouched as a lion and as a old lion. Who shall rouse him up? All right, so the Lord is about to rouse you guys up, all right? It's, it, it happened, it started popping off during, you know, that civil rights movement and all that, and that, and that little campaign. But that's going to happen again, too, man. You got, hey, how do you think the race riots going to pop off, man? Race riots, the you know, martial law, the chip, all that is just going to roll right around, man. All this is the, uh, the perfect recipe for uh, total madness, man. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it on that <clears throat> scripture. So, you know, I hope this was edifying. Like I said, if you guys want to get into it, Get into it. Watch the series Roots. It's pretty good. Watch uh, Underground. All right. Should you watch Django for all I care? <laughs> you know, you can watch the old Roots. All right. And just imagine, and we, you know, link the scriptures up, man. That's us, man. Okay. No, we ain't fucking Africans. We're Hebrew Israelites dwelling in Africa after uh, 70 AD. All right. That's why the Africans sold us. All right, because the true nation that's together ain't going to sell each other, man. All right? So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elder apostles of all Israel, which are the elder apostles out of uh, New York City, which is Great Millstone, which is GMS. All right? And salutation to the elect that's kicking this world in the four corners of this earth in, in truth and in, in ser uh, sincerity. All right? With all charity, man. All right? Shalom to y'all.